come on here and give you your very first holiday video of our FMT Advent Calendar. Say hello to Miss Alina, or should we say Rudolph? We're getting festive in the holiday spirit. These are not going to stay on for very long because we're giving you guys an AMRAP workout for your very first workout. It is body weight. You don't need any equipment. I will have a mat nearby, uh, depending on the type of floor that you're on, but other than that, you don't need anything else. So, we're going to get started. We've got a total of three AMRAPs, so as many rounds as you can until you need to take a break. We're going to try not to take breaks here. Uh, most of these moves are going to be 10 reps a piece, and we're going to alternate them. So, we're going to start with a lower body set. First one, we've got split lunges, so we're going to split the feet here. We have to do 10 on each side to split the feet. Front foot is flat on the ground. Back toe pressed into the ground. Both knees are going to bend at a 90 degree angle, so we're going to keep those feet stationary. So we do and then we're going to go into sumo. This was her idea to get mad at her. So, sumo squat jumps, wide stance, toes turn out, bend both knees, and then we're going to roll up to the front, land nice and softly. If you don't want to pop, that's fine. Come down, come up on your toes. You do have that increased mobility. Now, the, so we're going to do that as many times as we can. We've got a three minutes on the clock here. So, let's get to it. Split. And everybody can be at their own pace. So, you guys can do this with anybody. You can do it by yourself, you can do it at home, you can do it outside, I don't care where you do it as long as you guys do it. We are getting set up for the holidays. So we're ready, you guys have all the tools that you need, you just gotta do it. Then you need to put Are we at 10? Come on, we gotta get 10, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> so we're going around the same gates right now. That's great, we have somebody to you. Because I probably wouldn't be doing this as fast, Maybe we go faster. So we're trying to get lower. Right? Woo! Alright, so warm the body up still. So we've got a lower body set for the first one, right? Then we're gonna get into some total body. Then we're gonna get into some abs, because everybody always dance for the abs. So let's do it. Woo! So anytime you guys need to, you take a break. Come back in, you guys can always get your water. You should be shaking after this. We're a little bit more than a minute in. Yep, that's it. <laughs> now, I will tell you guys, maybe now's not the time, but I will tell you there's a really awesome 45 minute AMRAP class on Mondays and Wednesdays. I know 45 minutes seems like a lot. It is really fun though. We do add weights, so feel free to join that anytime. Woo! Whose idea was this? Mine! <laughs> We're getting set up for all the things. You know, it's it's the holiday time. We're jiggling away here. <laughs>
think about it this way, is either 10 uh, for each leg or 20, 20. So however you guys want to count that. There's a couple ways that you can do mountain climber. You can hop them, which is the traditional way to do mountain climber, or you can take them slower. Or you can go on an incline. So if you have a stable surface, you can elevate your arms here. So that is going to help put less, that's going to help put less pressure. Okay, just make sure you're still set up in the same plank position. Or if you want to make it even harder, you will reverse that and have your feet elevated on something sturdy, and then you will do the same thing. So what we're going to do is just our traditional mountain climber. So we're going to get in a full plank here. And make sure your hands are set up underneath your elbows, underneath your shoulders. Okay, make sure you're not dropping the hips down or pushing them too far up. And we're just going to run it out, drive the knee up as high as you can. I'm going to count to, Lena's going to count to a total of 20, so I don't have to count, <laughs> but we have those, and then, oh, then we flip it over into dips, I couldn't remember what it was, so we're going to flip it over into dips, so we're going to be facing upward, we're going to get into a tabletop position, fingertips are going to be placed out to the side, okay, so from here, we're going to start up, I want you guys to squeeze your glutes, so this is your starting position, we're going to go into a dip, First, so bend both elbows, and then we're going to add in a leg lift. We do the leg lift on the other side. Okay. So dip, lift, lift. All right? So ideally, we're trying to keep the hips up the entire time. Squeeze those glutes together to keep the hips up. Okay? So one breath. you got to do all three of those. Dip, lift, lift. That's it. Here we go. We have three, two, and one. for this, you can do these faster, you can hop these, right? But you can also take these slower, so you can step them out as well. But you're still doing the same amount of time, so still total of 20. Well, close, right? Come on! <laughs> All right. 30 seconds in.
we're actually going to start. We're flat on the back here. Okay, we're going to start with our legs all the way up. I keep my hands at my side. We're going to think about drawing the toes upward as far as you can. You can help by pushing your palms into the ground, but I want this focus to come from your lower abs. So we're going to raise up and then pause first above your hip. Then we're going to drop the legs down, keep them as straight as you can, and bring them back up. So when you put it together, raise and lower. That's a single rep. Make sure you guys are pushing your belly button towards the ground as you go into that leg drop. Number two, we're going into seated. Like these little sponges that I call my children and love them dearly. 